footies, it's Footy Friday Season 3! Welcome back to Bronzy Foodies! What's up guys? We missed you! Oh my goodness, it's been too long. It's been too long. It's way too long. It's way too long. It's too long. As promised, we're back. And we're back better than ever. Medyo natagalan lang. We are so sorry. Mandami na yung masyadong ginawa. And hindi na namin na tutukan yung front seat foodies. But we are back! And as promised, we have some changes happening for front seat foodies. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest change is pretty obvious. Yes. We have a new car! Uh-huh! And guys, we are so, 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 so happy to announce that we have an official mobility partner working with us for Season 3. And it is... Toyota! Toyota. Oh, ba guys, level up na front seat foodies. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy for our growth. Imagine foodies, nagsawar tayo sa si season 1 na parang happiness happy, lang happy namin siya. Nika, alam nyo naman yung story na front seat foodies na nag-start lang talaga siya nung pandemic when we can't dine out in. Out? In. 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 That's why we decided to eat in the car and then it became a regular thing and then sabi na, then why not make it to a like a food vlog or something and now here we are season 3 with a new car and an official mobility partner Toyota yes. I can't even wrap my head around it thank you foodies for this yeah thanks so much foodies for your support we couldn't really have done this without of course mm -hmm. you guys the foodies our viewers and um and like every time we shoot we just really have fun. have fun yeah and uh, you you guys seem to enjoy you guys seem to like it and that makes us really really happy yes i love it i love seeing us grow together salamon yeah. sa pagkain sa yeah. lahat sa experience and saya saya and guys by the way our official vehicle it's what we exactly need right yes. now the vehicle that we are using is the toyota corolla cross hybrid grs uh -huh. So this guys, ito na, alam ko we were teasing you guys with a huge surprise and this is it. This is the official FSF Mobile. Oh my god, I can't, I can't believe we have an official car for Fronty yeah. Foodies. Complete with all the decals, all yeah. the uh, din design sa labas, kung nakita nyo sa intro oh. video. And it also has a QR code that you can actually scan. And if you scan, it brings you to the Fronty Foodies homepage here on YouTube. So when you guys spot the FSF Mobile, don't forget to tag us. Mm -hmm. And maybe we can interact with you guys. Yeah, that's that's pretty much us. That's us talaga oh. inside. So wave at us, say hi, because mm. we're probably shooting when you see us. Yes, because this is our official studio na for yeah. front seat booty. For sure, mas madami tayong mapupuntahan. Yes. Of course, with, with this car, actually, we're gonna tell you guys where we're going now. Pero nasa biyahe kami, long drive kami today. Long drive? And uh, super ano siya, tipid. This car is um, is a hybrid, so sobrang tipid niya sa gas, especially now with the gas prices, you know, going yes. high, increasing week by week. It's very important na meron kaming car na that, that is efficient and yes, uh, friendly sa wallet, uh -huh. <laughs> friendly sa bulsa, and, and very friendly sa environment. Yes, of course, kasi yeah. hybrid nga siya. Ibig sabihin, it's half electric. This is actually going to be a two-part special. Oh my god. Kasi sobra namin kayong na miss. That's why we are going to be doing this two-part food trip at one of the food capitals of the Philippines. And the food capital of Luzon. We are going to Pampanga! Dami 
dami yung nagsasabi na bakit hindi kayo gumawa ng episode sa Pampanga for the past two seasons. And we've been planning it. I promise, foodies. We yeah. have been planning it. Hindi kami matuloy-tuloy kasi yung schedule. Ang daming aberya. But since, guys, the season three, meron na tayong official vehicle, we are going to Pampanga. Yeah. Tsaka hindi kasi kaya ng one episode lang. So, sobrang daming masasarap na pagkain sa Pampanga. Yeah. So, yung trip na to, guys, we separated it into two days. The first day, today, is gonna be more on the ano, traditional Kapampangan cuisine. So we're gonna go to places that offer signature dishes, signature Kapampangan dishes. We're gonna be having breakfast, we're gonna be having lunch, and we're gonna be having dinner later. So one full day to with you guys, with the foodies. We're gonna be comparing some of the, the dishes. Kasi, mm -hmm. syempre, kakaroon ng competition yung mga resto, mga Kapampangan, oh. mga restaurants, kung sino mas, mag mas okay, mas masarap na sisi, mas masarap na gano'n. Ito, mas masarap na ganyan. So, that's what we're gonna be doing today. Next night ako, guys. Alright, guys. So, mag-drive muna kami. And we'll see you when we get there. Pampanga, here we come! Alright, guys. So, we made it. To the, the street. To the bakery. Oh, so it's quite it's a quite busy street. Kasi tabi siya ng palengke at ng simbahan. Yeah, so busy siya parang uh, talagang As in busy center talaga. siya oh, ng ano eh. So uh, I'm gonna go down and grab a couple of boxes and bring it here. Buti na lang may nahanap kami ng parking dito yeah, malapit. Need to go with you. <laughs> Denied. Ay oh, niya ako pa <laughs> Wow. <sighs> And dami bobs. Basalubong. So we have here in blue, <laughs> ang blue yung LBS, and then yung yellow LA. It's the battle between. Battle between the team blue spread. and the team yellow. Okay, so originally ang iko compare namin dapat is both the cheese bread and the Spanish bread. Okay. Pero si LBS meron daw umubus ng Spanish bread. Inubus daw lahat. Tiga narin na over here ko lang parang tiga may nila tas ibibenta yata. So, ito siya, guys. LA Bake Shop Cheese Bread. Nakalagay, home of the original cheese bread. Mm -hmm. Tapos, ito naman, LBS, ang nakalagay, bakers of the original cheese bread. So, since 1985 to. Ito, since 1985 din. din. So, kanya na tayo maniniwala. Baka hindi magkapatid sure. silang nag-away. Hindi <laughs> ko, hindi ko alam. Yung hawak ko is the LBS, ang hawak ni Gab. LA. SLA. Based off of looks pa lang, guys, ang una naming observation, mas dilaw yung LA. Yes. Tsaka parang mas malaki si LA. Ang slight. Oh, mas cute si LB. Yung number of ano, paunahan tayo magbilang. 1, 2, 3, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Ay, no, no, no. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh, 28 din to. 28. Oh, 28 din pa. Sorry guys, mat. Mat. So, parehas siyang 28 pieces. Ito yung price per box ng LBS at price per box ng LA. So, here is one cheese bread from LBS. Cheers. One, two, three. Mmm. 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 Like I'm going to eat it. Mmm. It's really good. It's really good. It's like a big one. Mmm. And it's different when it's fresh baked. You know it's fresh baked. Mmm. Oh, that's it. It's better. Darker, slightly bigger. Nde iba iba yung sizes. Isa sa main difference parang texture niya sa taas may pagka iba. Parang mas makapal yata. Mas crumbs, mas makrumbs siya. Cheers. There is a difference. It's close. Very close. Really close. Kaya feeling ko if ihalu mo siya, no one will really notice. It differs. In texture, yeah, mas moist si LBS, mas chewy and moist, mas chew, mas fluffy, mas parang hindi yaya kap ka ng nanay mo. Ganon talaga yung description ko. Alam mo yung mas ano siya? Mas homey, homey. 
Mas homey. Mas um, talagang, may chew, for me, chewy eh. Parang... How oh, fluffy. Pag, Mas oh, may fluff siya sa mouth. Tapos yung crust niya sa taas. Yes. Is, is, is really, really perfect. Yes. Okay, masarap yung LBS. Okay, mm-hmm. this one is less moist. Okay, mas More naging iwa-hiwalay siya. More mas crumbly. Crumbly. But, mas rich yung flavor. Yeah. Ah, parang style! Hey, Mike, may <laughs> Feeling ko mas madaming cheese yung LA. Yes. And yung cheese nila, hindi gano ka sweet. Mm, mas salty mas to. Mas salty. Nandun mm. yung alat ng cheese. Yes. Yung sa LBS, Mas yung matamis, mas, matamis mas, fluffy, mas fluffy, mas buo. Mm-mm. Mas mas yung yung cheese niya balance na balanced with the sweetness of the bread. Whereas LA talagang pag unang kagat mo, lasa mo Boom, agad yung cheese. Hindi ko masasabi kung sino yung mas masarap. Mm-hmm. According nilang sa preference niyo. Yeah. But they're both good. They're both good. Yun nga lang, hindi natin alam kung sino ba talaga ang original. Yun nga lang para problema natin mm-hmm. yun. Anong preference mo? Yung cheese ng LA kasi parang alam mo yung mas mas mature na cheese. <laughs> kasi mas parang yung cheese na ma-appreciate ng palate ng mas matanda, kunyari. Mas may may konting alat, mm-hmm. may sharpness ng slice. Mm-hmm. It's not sharp cheese, ha? It's not like re- sharp cheddar. No, it's not. And not nothing like that. But yeah. there is a hint yes. of sharpness to it. Where that you couldn't find sa LBS. LBS. Okay. Sa LBS naman, yung texture talaga nakaka-addict. Ang sarap, oo. Yun yung nakaka-addict sa kanya kasi parang, and it's not that powerful yung cheese taste, so makapaparami ka. Mm-hmm. Pero ako, my preference is LA. LA ka pa din. Yeah. I'll go with LBS. Ikaw, LBS ka. Yes. Kasi sa LBS, my preference lang to, I like the texture better. Mas kaya ko siyang kainan yung tipong every morning. Wherein sa LA, parang once in a while ko lang siya kaya yes. kainan. Kasi masyado nga strong. I'm eating LBS now. Tama talaga dun sa bread. Ma, 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 you could tell the difference of the bread. Yes, Mas the okay texture. Mas okay yung bread niya. Mas strong kasi si LA eh. So, hindi ko siya kayang kainin like everyday. Wherein dito sa LBS, mas... Mas... Comforting. Comforting. Siya. Yun talaga yung word pa din hanggang season 3. Yeah. Parang mas hinahog ka mm-hmm. ng LBS kasi sa LA. In LA, masarap siyang snack. One more tasting note sa LBS. You could really taste the milk. Yes. Mas Lasa milky. Katas, Kaya milky. feeling kong fluffier siya sa yeah. town. You could taste the milk definitely yeah. there. Tsaka sa LA kasi, since nga ma-cheese siya, ma-crumbs siya, nag hiwa siya sa mouth mo. Yeah. Kaya mas lasa mo yung, yung flavor. Cheese mas talaga. strong cheese talaga. Cheese cheese, yeah. So, ayan. Okay, so... It's a tie. It's a tie. I suggest also if you guys go here, get both. about to do the ultimate sisig battle of Milas and Aling Lucing. So my yeah. God, I'm so excited. <laughs> so, for sure, you've heard of uh, these two. Uh, especially Aling Lucing. Yes. Yung very sikat talaga kasi siya daw talaga yung gumawa ng sisig. Pero si Milas, hindi ko pa siya na-encounter. na-encounter. Wala pa. Very famous na rin ang uh, Milas Tokwat Baboy. Okay. Yun yung name. Okay. For me, Ako lang, personally, I know Aling Lusing is the original and I love it. I've tried it several times. I haven't. But for me, the better one is Milas. Hello. Yeah. I'm you said sorry. it. I said it. Mas favorite ko ang uh, food ng Milas. Okay. The Tokot Baboys. Amazing. Really? Yeah. Okay, ako wala pa akong basis of anything kasi hindi ko pa siya nagtry pareha. So, let's do it. Alright. Game. Here is the battle of the, the CC and Tokot Baboy. Here in Milas Tokwat Baboy. So right in front, they have a 
parking Sushan. slot. May ano sila? Vacant lot for yeah, parking? Yeah, vacant lot for parking. Parking lot. Park. Right, right <laughs> in front there, they have a parking lot, which is, uh, which quite, is spacious lot. Naman, yeah, quite spacious quite spacious for yes. uh, several cars. At puno ah, yung parking lot. So, I'm guessing puno yung puno Milas. Puno yung Milas. Lagi naman puno dyan. Oo. Oh, oh. So, nauna yung Milas kasi ito yung mas on the way. Yes. So, afterwards, we're gonna go to Aling Lusing. Hindi natin yung kakainin mo yung yeah, Milas. Yeah, hindi mo na namin kakainin yan. I- pick up lang. Pick up lang namin. So, pick up namin kay Aling Lusing yung sisig naman. Na. Okay. Dear. But right before I go down and get the food, I think now is the best time to thank our official mobility partner, Toyota. Toyota! The new Toyota Corolla Cross GRS HEV is the car of choice of the front seat foodies. Now that fuel prices are on the rise, this car is perfect for our food adventures. It, it has, has everything, everything we need. need. From its world-renowned reliability, riding comfort, style and design, technology, safety features, and of course, its fuel efficiency. Check the description box below for more details. And that was it for Toyota. If you guys are interested in any car, we will put the details in the description box. Kung saan yung mga promos, deals, and whatsoever. Check out the description box. Alright guys, we have our orders from Mila's Talk at Baboy. Pero mamaya na namin to ya unpack. Yes. We're gonna go straight to Aling Lusing to pick up our orders there. Aling Lusing, here we come! Enjoy. Alrighty, we're here at uh, Aling Lusing. Aling Lusing, Wild. Si Queen, ang daming tao. We're ang here busy, street. ang busy, busy ng yeah. street niya. And I feel like it's because of do, Aling Lusing, Aling Lusing. Si Queen. Yeah. Hey guys, so I'm gonna go down na uh, and uh, time to get our sisig. Tapos kain na na pagkatapos na. Right? Sobrang daming tao dun sa main. Dito pala kami umorder sa kabila. Sa kabila Just pala. across the street. Which is okay na rin kasi sobrang go. Masyadong magulo mm. sa kabila. Okay, so we got it! Alright guys, we are all set. We have a feast in front of us of some Kapampangan yes. favorites from Mila Stokot Baboy and Aling Lusing's Sisig. Now, alam mo yung Aling Lusing, kaya ako lang siya alam because of Anthony Bourdain. Yeah, he visited uh, Aling Lusing. Yes, and can I say, sobrang prompt nung ano nila ha, advance uh, order nila. When I called, talagang meron pang follow-up na, Hi, we are located in like this, we can waste this, you know. We're gonna try, of course, we're gonna start this out strong. We're gonna go straight to it. We're gonna try the sisig. Grabe, wala man lang pa yeah. ano-ano, no? So we have three dishes here na sisig. Oh, yes. Two from uh, Milas, Milas and one from Aling Lusing. Mm-hmm. So the reason why uh, dalawa sa Milas is because they actually have another version of sisig, which they call the plain sisig, which I think is the original variation of sisig way back when the Spanish pa talaga were here. Yes. As in, ito yung, ito yung original Parang recipe. Parang kilawin? Parang kinilaw na baboy. Kilawin, Parang, diba? Hindi siya fried at all. It's Wala, tossed. Fresh. Yeah, like a salad. Tsaka ano, ang daming sili. Mm-hmm, daming sili. So this is how sisig was made before talaga. Puro, ayan, puro tenga. Yung makikita nyo. One, two, two three. Mmm! Sarap. 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 Ito ang parang talagang blasong appetizer. Ang hang. Mm, ang hang. Like okay, what do you think? I like it. First time kong makatikip ng sisig na ganito. Pero mas gusto ko pa din yung ano. Yung, yung fried sisig sizzling talaga. Oh, sizzling sisig. Oo. Oh, oh. Para talaga siyang kinilaw or kilawin. Pero instead of fish, tenga ng baboy. Tsaka it's really tossed in like suka, suka um, sibuyas, sile. Sile. It's refreshing. It's really like a salad. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. But the real comparison is in their sizzling sisig. Okay. First, we have here Aling Lusing. Papakita namin sa inyo, yeah. ha? So, Aling Lusing yung nasa clear. Tapos, ito yung kay Milas. They look alike. Yeah. Very. They look alike. So, okay. let's put the rice here in the middle because it needs... Para fair. Kailangan may rice. <laughs> Let's squeeze that calamansi. Hindi namin nilagyan ng toyo parehas. Perfect. Yeah, para lasa namin talaga yung okay. mga. Cheers. Cheers. One, two, two three. three. Mm. Wow. 
explosion of flavor. Mm. Mm. Ang sarap. Oh my goodness. Aling lusing. Iba talaga. First time ko to. Ang sarap ng may kanin. So to those who don't know, Aling Lusing here in Pampanga, they claim to be the original. Mm. Nag-invent ng ganitong klaseng sisig. Damn, Aling Lusing. Mm. Next muna, Milas. So, from the looks of it, ito parang mas shredded. Mas dry. Mas dry, mas shredded. Cheers. May kump... Ano? One, two, three. Mmm. Magkay na magkaiba. Magkaiba. Mmm. Ang sarap. Grabe. Mmm. 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 May parang chicharon siya. Mm. Pamatay. Iba din. Ah. Teka, isa pa. Isa pa nito. Mm. Iba rin talaga ito si Alex. Mm. Eh. Yeah. Okay. Again, like LA and LBS, they're both good. Both good according to your preference. Magkaibang, for this time, kung yung LBS and yung LA Bake Shop, Medyo may similarities. Ito magkaiba talaga. Like, magkaiba yung lasa niya, magkaiba yung texture niya sa dibig, magkaiba yung aftertaste, magkaiba yung unang... Magkaiba, magkaiba yung unang kagat, yung explosion ng flavors. Mas mas sauce si Aling Lusing. Mas ano siya, greasy. Mas oily. Yeah, mas, greasy siya. Mas, mas shredded, mas, mas dry yung kay Milas. Mm -hmm. Tsaka yung kay Milas, parang pagkain mo, kahit dito yung sprinkle ng kalamansi, may, may asin mo siya. But, to my preference, my taste buds, my own taste buds, gusto ko yung smokiness ni Aling Lusing. Iba yung smokiness ni Aling Lusing. Pero mas sarap na yung kay Milas. Mm -hmm. Mas ano lang siya, mas pang beer yung Aling Lusing eh. Yeah. Mas pang, mas pang pulutan. I agree with Gab, magkaibang magkaiba. Yung kay Milas, mas on the drier side. Tapos medyo shredded siya, mas maliliit yung cut ng tenga. Meron siya, makikita mo yung tenga. Pero ito ang difference nito, meron chicharon, may crunch. Yun ang edge ni Milas. May crunch. May crunch, ang sarap. Yeah. Yung kay Aling Lusing is the traditional style talaga ng sisig, the way we know it. Yung cuts, very precise yung uh, sizes for a sisig. And it's more greasy. Ako, now that I have it, I know I said that I kinda like Milas better before. But now that I get to compare it side by side, I think Aling Lusing, Aling Lusing really She's takes it. She's still the sisig queen. Yeah, she she takes it like... Botless. Yeah, kakaiba talaga. Yung smokiness, I think it's also the way that they cook it for the... Mayroon sa aming smokiness, yeah, diba? Yeah, yung... Kasi kanina din, nakikita ko niluluto nila yung parts ng sisig, yung Lagan. face, yung ano. Talagang sapul eh. Lasang-lasa mo. And yung yung sourness din kasi we tried the plain sisig yes. diba so yung yung sourness ng plain sisig nandito pa rin siya plus that grilled smokiness flavor to it babi yung sarap ng lunch natin ibang klase kakaiba nandito yung parang talagang melts in your mouth type yes okay guys kung natry nyo yung aling lusing tsaka minas sa inyo ano mas gusto nyo comment down below I'm really curious mm -hmm. kasi iba iba tayo ng taste buds eh yup okay so First round, sisig goes to Aling Lusing. So, ito ang tokwet baboy ng Milas. Siya naman yung nasa transparent. Oh, <laughs> Baliktad. Siya naman yung nasa transparent, yung kay Milas. Tapos yung nasa cardboard naman, yung kay Aling Lusing. Iyan. Candidate Aling number one, Aling Lusing. Candidate number two, Aling Milas. Ay, Aling Milas. Milas. Magkaibang magkaiba sila, super. Parang nagkabaliktad din talaga ulit. Ang mas dry, yung sa Aling Lusing. Oo, Tapos ito mas sauce. Tapos mas mas sauce, yung kay Milas. Tapos, isa sa differences din, Sinerv, binigay nila to, nakahiwala yung tokwa. Mm -hmm. Ibig sabihin, they wanna retain the crispiness of the oh. tofu. Ayaw nila mano sa sauce. Yeah. Okay, one, one, two, two three. three. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. Wow. Harap. It's a mouthful. So talaga, sobrang dami nung sauce niya na toyo man, toyo na may suka. And ang dami din yung gulay. Refreshing. Pero ang alat, no? Mm -hmm. Ang lalaki nung pieces nung tenga. Huh, ang hang. Next, 
we have Aling kay Aling Lusing. Ayan na. So, nasa bawan na namin. <laughs> Itong kay Aling Lusing. So, baliktad din yung paggawa nila. Panaretain nila yung crispiness ng lahat kasi hindi, bin, hindi pa binuhos yung, ano, yung sabaw. Yung kay Milas, baliktad. Nakabuhos na pero nakahiwala yung tokwa. Game. Cheers. Cheers. One, two. Mm. 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 Sarap. Major difference yung pork. Mm. Iba. Yes na. Mm. Ko ba? Major difference yung Super. pork. Super. It's like two different dishes. Yeah. So aling lusing, lechon kawali style yung pork na kasama ng takot baboy. Actually. Parang bagnet. Parang yeah. bagnet. Yung kay Milas, tenga. Tenga. Parang sisig. Tenga pero buo. Tsaka dip siya sa toyo. Mm -hmm. Talagang nakababad sa toyo tsaka suka. To me, ang mas talagang tokwat baboy taste na hinahanap ko na kay Milas. Ito para siyang ano na, ibang variation yung kay Aling Luz. Para na siyang, alam mo yung pagkumain ka ng bagnet tapos may side dish na ano, tas, tas pinagsama mo. It's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. It's good with rice. Yeah. Ah, really? I don't, I don't For me, it. it's pang, pang ulam. Pang ulam. Yung dating. Ito pang Itong appetizer. Kay Ito yung Camilas, yung talagang tokot baboy na ano. Appetizer. Oo, oh, appetizer or on its own. That's why they're called Milas tokot baboy. Yes. Talaga, I like how refreshing it is kahit na, ang weird nga, yung alat-alat niya, pero yung aroma niya sa bibig, yung iba yung aroma niya. Yung... Ang dami yung kasing herbs, talagang oh. tantad ng herbs and spices. So far, it's a Thai. It's a Thai. Kung tokot baboy goes to Milas, ang ganda ng pagkaluto ng tofu. True. Crispy on the outside and really soft in the inside. Yes. Sarap. Woo. Ano ba itong pampanga? So, recap. The sisig goes to Aling Lusing and the tokot baboy goes to Milas. Milas. Next up, we have chicken ass or isol. And then, we have the... Tocino barbecue. Tocino barbecue favorite ko chicken ass. I'm not gonna lie. Pagka nasa, ano kami, inasal, JT's, whatever, isol is the way to go for me. Pero ito na nga. Damn! Guys, look at that freaking ass! <laughs> big, big booty, but you got a big booty, but oh my god, ba? paano ko kakainin ito? Ganito kalaking po yan. Hmm. Kaya mo yan. Here we go. This is from Aling Lusing. Yeah. Aling yung puwet. Mm. Aling yung puwet. <laughs> Laman pa yung nakalit ko yung uli. Mm -hmm. Yung pangalawa, yun na yung puwet. Kaya sa malaki. Kasi may kasama siya ng laman. Oo, oh, hindi lang siya yung Hindi lang siya yung puwet mismo. mismo. Mm. It's a barbecue. It's a barbecue. Mm -hmm. It's sweet. Mm -hmm. sweet. Sweet type of barbecue. Mm -hmm. Okay, next we have the Tocino barbecue. Tocino barbecue. This is the Tocino barbecue from Milas. Milas. Mmm. It's okay, babe. Hybrid talaga. Mmm. Okay. Parang tosino barbecue nga talaga. Mismo. Mm -mm. Ang sarap. Ay, good rice, babe. Mm -mm. Ang sarap niyang pang breakfast. Okay, we're not gonna compare it kasi they're both different dishes. Yeah. The isol, or the chicken ass of Aling Lusing, is like your go-to barbecue. Typical barbecue, yeah. Like, I would order anytime. Yeah. Kasi fan naman ako ng ganong barbecue sweet. But, this one, the tosino barbecue, dahil milas! Talagang hybrid siya ng tosino tsaka barbecue. Ang sarap! Yeah, sarap. Ima kasi may suka dito, pero di kami mabuksan kasi medyo hassle siya. Ini-imagine ko may suka siya, tapos garlic rice. Mm -hmm. Medyo wild siya. It tastes like breakfast and lunch. Kasi you could definitely, kasi parang tosino cut nga siya. Pero lasang barbecue, pero lasang mm -hmm. tosino din. Lasang tosino din. Sweet pa rin siya, sweeter side din siya. Pero may salty din, saltiness mm -hmm. din siya. Saltiness. And tosino is also home of tosino. Oh yeah, Pampanga. Pampanga's best nga pala. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. So that was our lunch, guys. An intense lunch of some of um, Kapampangan 
favorites. Ang sarap-sarap. Yeah, pero oh my god, okay, my favorite dish of all time, like, in our lunch, yung sisig, sisig talaga. Sisig yeah. Iba talaga siya. Hindi ako nag, hindi talaga ako OA. It's sarap talaga. Masarap talaga. Alam mo kung hindi lang siya sobrang sama, kaya kong ubusin yung isang topperware na yun. <laughs> pero hinay-hinay lang, guys. Oo, oh, hinay-hinay lang. Bob, high five ulit. Oh, I had fun. I had fun too. I had fun. Ang sarap matulog. <laughs> but yeah, we're still gonna have dinner. <laughs> because this is the pilot of season 3. It has to be jam-packed, jam all the way intense. So stick around till the end because we're gonna go have dinner at a very nice place that is also popular, which is also featured by Anthony Brindain. We're gonna be having dinner at Bale Dutong. Alright, we'll see you guys at dinner. We are back, foodies. It's dinner time. So we're not gonna have dinner in the car. We're actually gonna take you with us to our experience at Balay Dutong. Yeah, we've been wanting to try Balay Dutong. Um, tagal na. We yeah. even saw one of Chef's docus, de ba, about it. About it, yeah. So we're really intrigued by it, and I hope you have a good time. Because, de ba, means na tayo sa Pampanga, so. Mm -hmm. Once in a blue moon, I'm going to taste it in Pampanga. So I hope yeah. you have a good time. We're, we're not super sure what to expect, but they call it the Kapampangan menu. Mm -hmm. Maybe the tasting menu is going to be an all authentic Kapampangan tasting menu. So we're super excited for that because that's exactly what we want. Yes. We're going to be going down and you're going to see it for yourself the experience mm -hmm. of the Kapampangan menu at Bale Duto. Let's go. So guys, we made it here at uh, Belay Dutong and it is beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. So this part where we're staying in, hindi pa siya open daw. According to Nico, I feel like Nico is the son. We're not super we're sure. We're not sure. We're not sure of Chef Cloud. Yeah, Nico, if you're watching, thanks for accommodating Thank us. Thank you for accommodating us last yeah. minute. So guys, okay, this is super personal to me because usually whenever we do tasting menus, it's just the two of us lang talaga. Like, yeah. No cameras, we never vlogged any tasting menu experience because we really want to keep it personal. And we want to showcase talaga the, the food. cuisine of uh, Pampanga. This place has, is well documented. Na. Mm -mm. Mm, laki, no? Yeah, laki. Laki ng place. Super laki. And they have yung inside para may open kitchen style. Yung talaga, talaga yung open now. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a uh, uh, it's not pako. It's not a pako. We actually grew up within the premises lang. Oh, uh, that's where kind of it should be dapa. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we have here ensaladang pako, as what Nico said earlier. They grow their own greens here, here. in their property. Hmm. So it's a fiddlehead fern salad served with pickled quail egg, tomatoes, and onions, drizzled with a mango and uh, sriracha vinaigrette. So yeah. honestly, I'm not super fan of spicy, but. For tasting menu, so I'm gonna give it a try. Mm -hmm. Always. One, two. Mm. Whoa. Damn, that's spicy. Oh, wow. Spicy? Mm hmm. That's so spicy. This is what I don't know. During a tasting menu, you don't order anything. They just bring food. They just surprise you. They surprise you. And they give mm. you the food There's one by one you, until uh, it ends. But how many times? You don't really like looking at the menu. So you want to be surprised always. Yeah, but you can always look at the menu if you want. <laughs> so there's, there's new starters are usually salads. Gulay. Yeah, gulay. This is actually a lot, huh? Hindi ko inexpect na ganito kadami. It's like a full on serving yeah. of salad. Yeah. Because usually sa tasting menus, di ba nga? Yung iba kasi hindi medyo knowledgeable sa tasting menu. Like, there's this one time I posted a photo in Wagyu Studio. A small dish, I forgot what dish it was. Pero, like, super lit lang siya. Lumpia. Sinasabi nila, hindi daw nakakabusog whatsoever. Binabash nila na parang, yun lang, mabubusog kayo. Tapos magkana na 5,000 pesos na, ganyan. Madaming... Small dishes. It's small dishes. Because sometimes, the course can go up to 12, it can go up to 15, it can... And I swear, by the end of the course, Tap out ka na sa basog. Mga pang 8 pa lang tap out ka na. In moderation yung pagsaserve. Kasi nga yeah. madami. And depends sa dish na isaserve nila. Yung amount. Mm. Kasi may main course pa. May dessert pa. Sometimes guys, yung dessert, 3 dishes yung dessert. Yeah. 
What do you think about this dish? Nice opening for a tasting menu. It's very spicy. Mm, it's very spicy. Maanghang siya. Huwag niyo i-boost lahat ng blessing. Yeah, it's pretty spicy, guys. Mm -hmm. But it's a good start. Yeah. Very good start. fresh. It's your tra like parang traditional pa ko. Yeah, it's really spicy. Wow. Mahilig na ako sa maanghang at uh, medyo... Maanghang siya. Uh, to ex explain more of the taste, it's um, it's a mango, sp spicy mango dressing. So the greens taste really fresh, and there's a sweetness that comes from the mango vinaigrette and a and bit of spice. sourness. Pero that spice really from the sriracha. Yeah, kicks you right head on. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a really spicy dish. Okay, on to the next dish. is a trio of uh, tabanang talangka sushi, which is pure crab fat na sushi, a fried catfish fillet, and burong hipon wow. rolled in uh, fresh mustard leaves. Wow, wait. Or uh, food mustasa. Food. Itong dahon with fresh mustard leaves. Inside is a catfish fillet and burong hipon. Buro is a kapampangan yeah. uh, dish that is very famous. Buro. The last one, yung mukhang tamago, yung egg dito, is called uh, pindang damulag in delicate egg rings. Rico said na it's more on for breakfast, kap kapampangan style breakfast. Breakfast. It has tapang kalabaw. it has tapang kalabaw. Alright. Wow, I'm so intrigued. Since it's finger food, sanitize muna tayo. Sanitize. So this is the pindang damulag in delicate yeah. egg rings. So this is the, the pindang damulag in delicate egg rings. Cheers. With the tapang kalabaw inside. One, two. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's okay. Very breakfast like. Mm. Very, 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 ano, lasang lasang may yung egg. Yeah. And it's yung tapas. Tapa. Salty. Mm -hmm. Very salty. Very salty. Catfish with buro rolled in um, mustard leaves. One, two, three. Mmm. 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 That, that is good. good. Drink. The first one was okay, the egg. Yes, oh, okay, just This one is good. One. The bitterness from the mustard leaf ah, goes so well with the saltiness of the catfish. And the sourness. And so, it's okay to one bite. Yeah. One, two, three. Mmm, it's so good. It's so good, guys. Grabe. First time, it's so good. It's legit. And it's fresh, na fresh. Talaga. So good. That was good. Very fresh in taste. I like that. Now, ito yung favorite down in Nico. This is a Tabanan Talangka Sushi. Cheers. Cheers. Crab fat sushi. Crab oh fat. man. Mm. <laughs> Tapos. <laughs> Pamatay. Wow. Ito guys. Yung panalo to. You could... Oh my gosh. Sushi, and like with the seaweed drop and everything. Feeling mo, di ba, super Japanese. Pero yeah. pag kinain mo, last and last mo pa rin yung influence ng Pinoy. Yung Pinoy. Kasi nga, crab fat. And, and the then there's a, may kamyas sa taas that oh. balances the fatty taste mm -hmm. so well. Tsaka hindi siya yung crab fat na yung nakaka... Diri. Yeah. There are mga crab fat na parang, oh my god, so much cholesterol. Yeah, too much na. This one is like well balanced. Balancing balance. Eh. Cheers. Cheers. One more. Mm. Yep. So far, that was the best the one. Best one. Um, people who are like saying bad things about tasting menu, we acknowledge that it's pricey, it's a luxury to do it. But then, because you're paying for the experience of the chef, mm -hmm. the, the, all the years of learning, mm -hmm. all the years of research, of like traveling for the right ingredients, for the art. Mm. Um, it's really an, it's, it's an art form. It's an experience. Yes. Yeah. So, we, we understand that yes, it is expensive and it is pricey. But guys, if, if you are able to afford it, it's a whole it's new world. A whole, yeah, a whole new world of gastronomical adventures that you will not regret at yeah. all. I'm just so happy that I get to share the experience with you because it's jive tayo when yeah. it comes to you know on um, being game to experience mm -hmm. those kinds of yeah. tasting menus, diba? those kinds of um, food experiences. Because we're game, we're 
karing diriya, mapa tasting mm. menu. Tita niyo naman kanina. Like game kami, as long as you know, um, as long as we have a good time, masarap. Ako I highly recommend to try a tasting menu once in your life. So Nico told us to eat it like tacos. So yeah. finger food do it. Finger food siya. So, it looks like tacos. It looks like, like tacos. What a taco would look like. Yep. To the left here. We have uh, inasal, mm -hmm. chicken inasal, and then to the right, we have lechon. Pork belly. Pork belly, yung lechon daw. Lechon, the, yeah. be the, the belly, belly part. Of, yeah. belly part of the lechon. So, ito sikat to sa kanila, yung That's... lechon. So, let's try the inasal first. This is a lot. Ang dami niya, guys. Okay, may ano din daw to? Uh, spicy, spicy achara. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Be, one, two. Mmm. Pretty good. good. Very uh, street food esque. Mm -hmm. mm. Not so spicy. A Mexican name taste, yeah, no? Yeah. Because of the herbs. Cilantro. Yeah, it's not yung inasal, pero naga take over yung Mexican vibe niya. Yeah. Achara's good. Not so spicy. It's a very sweet. Mm -hmm. Sour type of dish. Inasal isn't that powerful. Next. Next. This is the lechon. Shredded, mm -hmm. no? Sh yeah. Shredded pork belly. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Yep. It's crunchy. Very crunchy, yung flakes. Very fresh, yung, I don't know, herbs mm -hmm. and vegetables. Mm. Then it ends with that signature salty lechon note. After all that fresh, fresh goodness. Tastes a bit like, I don't know, catfish. I like the lechon. It's really good. I mm -hmm. like it better than the inside. Me too. Very, oh, so far, very diverse, mm -hmm. yung mga klase. You have Something very classic like the papaitang kanina and the salad. It's like pa Japanese. Na. Yeah, you have very innovative dishes like this, the taranka sushi. And mm -hmm. this one may, may influences ng iba't ibang cuisines. Asian. But ibang techniques like a sushi. This one is a taco. So it's nice to see that they're not afraid to experiment even though they're known to have like really authentic kapampangan dishes. Mm. Yeah, so dami. basically, it's a spread of um, famous Kapampangan dishes, yes. namely the adobong pugo or quail. The sisig, it's our third sisig of the day. Third fourth. sisig. And ito na yung longganisa ang hinahanap ko. Day. And yung longganisa. Nakangin ako pang hinahanap. Sinasabi. The tasting menu here in Baledotong is 2.5. And for me, sobrang, it's worth it. Sobrang dami. Oh. This is the most I've ever seen yes, in a tasting, tasting menu. Yes, the tasting menu. It's a lot. Dami, dami, dami. Now it's time to okay. devour this. What do you, where do we want first? Longanisa first. Okay. So this is their longanisa. There's longanisa, a pickled tomato, and a pickled chili. Yeah. So sabi nila, if you love spicy, it Eat goes in one bite. super well in one bite. Yes. So that's what I'm gonna do. She removed the chili. But I'm still gonna eat it in one bite. Okay. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. One, two, It goes so well with the tomato. Such a big change. Hello. That's yours now. That was magical. Grabe yung pop nung... Okay, given na kasi na masarap yung longga. Longga. Alam ko nang masarap yung longganisa. Pero yung... Pero nung samahan mo nung tomato... Yung gulat nung pickled tomato, which is really simple by the way, it goes so well. Yeah. Like, what the heck? I did not expect it. Simple, pero... Rock. Sarap. Mm. Sarap. Next up, we're having the adobong pugo. So, sabi niya, it goes well now with their pandesal and some chili sauce. Uh, I'm gonna pass on the chili. Chili sauce. Medyo nadala po ako sa first dish natin. So, let's uh, open up a pandesal and put a bit of chili sauce. Okay. So, ito yung pugo. Adobong pugo. One, two, three. Yung pandesal. Mm. And that feels like home. Careful lang with the buto, kasi siyempre, pugo Malik yan, maliit. Mm -hmm. Yung buto niya, maliit. Sarap nga ng pandesal with the chili sauce, but it's so spicy. Super. Ang dami ko nilagay eh. 
typical breakfast or merienda. Ready ka na magtrabaho pagkatapos. Dish na uuwian mo sa bahay. Yeah. Na masarap na masarap. Tingnan natin. Kung mas masarap ka dun sa aling losing. Mm -hmm. Sisig, baby. It looks a lot like the like aling losing one. ones. Cheers. One, two, three. Mmm. Yung atake niya, parang kay Aling Lusing din. It's like a cross of the Aling Lusing grilled and the plain sisig of Mila's na fresh. Yeah. It's very... You could definitely taste the vinegar, but you could also taste the smokiness from the char-grilled Mas maasim itong sisig. Yeah. Could the winner for Mila on that round is the Lunga Lusa. Ako din. Diba? Iba yung laban ng Lunga Lusa? The simplest one takes it in that spread. Bulang lang. Okay, it's like sinigang. It is sinigang. Similar to sinigang. And they serve it with calamansi, chili, and bagoong. I love yeah. it because, guys, I eat sinigang with bagoong. And other people find it weird. Mm -hmm. Apparently, I belong here. Yeah. And sabi nila, ito daw yung bagoong ng amanpulo. Yeah. So, there is a mixture of baboy. seafood and pork. Uh oh baboy and shrimp and fish. Fish. So, super lapot, no? Nung broth. Nung broth. Nung Parang sauce. Parang pasos na siya, no? That's so different. Oh, very different. It's sweet. Ano yun? Ano yung parang citrusy na yun? Guava. Guava, yes. Guava, yeah. guava. So, guava yung ginamit na pang, pa, pang patamis at pang paasim. Yes. Okay, let's try it now. I'll try the pork. Ang lambot ng pork. Wow. One, two, three. Mmm. Crunchy yung bagoong. Mm -hmm. Sarap yung bagoong. Kailangan mo talaga ng bagoong. Yes, to balance ano, everything. Balance. Medyo overpowering if wala yung bagoong. Yung sauce, sauce or broth, wild. Mm -hmm. Unexpected yeah. yung lasa niya. Medyo nagulat Definitely ako. Definitely far from sinigang. Yes. Layo. Pero ang sarap. Okay, mm. This is the first time I've tasted bulang lang. And definitely impressed by it. Mm -hmm. It's a very different dish. Gigantic. Gigantic prawn. Prawn! Sure. So as usual, babalatan ko po si madam. Thank you. This one's mine. Out of the three, yung fish, shrimp, and the pork, I think it, for me, ang pinakabagay talaga is the pork. Pork for you. Pork for me. Pero ikaw, I feel like it's your shrimp. Or pork then. Pork then. Pork then, no? Yeah. It's good, guys, but I'm not the biggest fan of that guava taste. Uh huh. It's too sweet for me. But I think a lot of people will like this. Okay. Ako, I like the flavor. I like everything. But I just wish it wasn't as kapal as this. Mm, I think it's supposed to be like that. Yeah, nga eh. But the flavor is really good for me. I like it because I don't like it because I don't like it. And the, I like I the like bagoong. It's, it's sarap ng bagoong. Sarap ng bagoong. Pwede ba umuwi ng bagoong? <laughs> I feel like it's really supposed to be eaten with rice. Yeah, kasi sinabihan kami kanina if we wanted rice. We declined because we're so full. Full na. Pag kami rice, feeling ko balance eh. If you're gonna try it here, guys, you have to prepare your stomach. Huwag kayong kumain ng buong Guys, araw. kasi kami buong araw kami kumakain. Mm -hmm. Overwhelming yung amount of food that they're gonna serve you. Yes. And that was bulang lang. Good. <sighs> and we are ready. Ang nabasod na ako. Okay, time Let's to start. try the kare-kare. Try muna natin yung... Muscles. Muscles. Tahong. One, two, three. Sabi nga, the bagoong. I tried it. Mm. Sarap. Ang sarap talaga ng bagoong nila. Pero grabe, super well yung pagka peanut butter niya. It's not peanut butter, it's definitely ground peanuts. Mm. Alam mong it's not ano, peanut butter. Peanuts Hindi siya na fake. dinurog niya. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Sarap. Man, this is um, kare-kare like... Yeah, may mga buo -buo pang peanuts, babe. Well done na kare-kare talaga. Napakasarap. I didn't know that Chef Cloud was like a painter too. I didn't know that too. Hindi ko inakala na... Kanina ko pa tinitingnan itong... Ang ganda kasi eh. Itong painting na to. Siya pala gumawa. Lahat, pati yung furniture, siya gumawa. 
Napakatalintado naman. Bobby, paano magkaanak ng ganun? Pray. Grabe mo. No? This is what I like also about Easton. She really take your time. Imagine we started 7 o'clock. What time is it na? Magta 10 o'clock na. It's a 3-hour meal, guys. It's a 3-hour meal. So you have to really prepare. Hindi siya basta-basta. Look at this, guys. Laki, oh. What do you think? Balik tayo sa food. What do you think of the kare-kare? One of the most perfect kare-kare I've ever tried. Same. It's perfect. Nothing's it's overpowering, uh, overpowering anything. It's... Like talagang kung wala kung may taong hindi pa nakakatikim ng kare-kare. Ito yung... Ito yung... Ano ba yung kare-kare? Anong lasa? Ito. Boom. Ito siya. Perfect eh. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for the savory dishes. Now, they're gonna be serving us dessert. I think the dessert is a Maha Blanca. Last, but not the least, dessert. Okay, so we have our dessert here, which he describes as... Hot halo halo. Oh, oh, parang ganon daw. Yeah, parang ganon daw siya. But basically, there's um, carbaus milk there's with. There's ube, parang pastillas. Yema. Yema. Yema, ube, then makapuno. Makapuno. And then there is like a brulee on top. Yeah. And a mint leaf. And then we ordered pandan tea to, go, to with go with it. it. Sabi niya super sarap daw to with coffee. Coffee, kaso guys, ten o'clock na could I can't. Di makatulong si Gab. Good. Very sweet. Parang asyong mm. hathaluhalo. Mm. Harap. Let's try some of that yema. Mm -hmm. Guys, if you guys are planning to go to Balay Dutong on weekends, uh, starting August 27, they're gonna be offering a much shorter tasting menu for walk-ins. So you guys could take a day trip or overnight to Pampanga and take it's a five-course meal here at Balay Dutong. It's totally worth it guys all right guys that's it for the pilot episode of season three of foodie fridays yes. here, in guys, here in pampanga watch out for part two of this pampanga food trip tomorrow we're going to be going to the much newer places that pampanga has to offer yes thank you guys see you guys hope you guys had fun see you on the next one foodies